Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents... Seriously, bro. Might have our first real comedy comet in a long, long time. Don't get your hopes up, though. Trust me. Comets are like... Turds. Hey, I got a good comet question. Why do all comets pretty much seem to be the exact same size? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Great bad news. I'm talking about comets. I think the coolest thing about this is that I'm talking about a comet nobody's really talking about. They'll start talking about it soon. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What? Man. All right. It's like my brain is filled with tequila, and I haven't even been drinking in like two or three months. It's been a weird weekend. Anywho, we're talking about C-2014. QE, I love joy. I do. And now it has an orbit much like the planetoids that led professional astronomers Chad Trujillo and the other guy to believe that Planet X is still out there. What's really neat about this was it's found a couple months ago. It's got a Q in its name. Everybody loves Qs. Like you couldn't say Q to you without them. Um, it's passing almost right in the middle of Earth and Mars. And the thing that turned me onto it, the best astronomers in the professional amateur, professional, professional amateur, weird ass realm that is their pantheon. Those dudes have been taking some pretty cool pictures of it. And it's weird because um, you know how asteroids really vary in size from what we have been told? Well, comets always seem to be about the exact same size. Is that just me or is that, is that weird? Does anybody else have any explanation for that? Though I guess that question's inherently flawed. If, you know, you think Comet Iceland might have been bigger than a mile. I guess it's just because they're all scaled down and put in a frame so you can make the Empire State Building look about as tall as French fry. With framing and scaling and reshaping, resizing. Right now it's at a magnitude of eight and I think that right around four is the thing where you can see it with the naked eye they say you can see it with a decent telescope or good binoculars right now we are one month from it being the closest to earth which is about 0.48 AUs and we're two months from perihelion when it gets closest to the Sun and under the whole model of it's just a dirty snowball see we proved it with the two days on flea so as it gets hotter, more snow burns off, it gets bigger. So we'll find out. I don't know, I'm just saying. I have a feeling that between now and 2017, we will see some type of a comet that everybody can see. The super impressive comets seem to come around about once every 100 years or so, especially in strange times. And so, if I'm just going by the data, anything that professional astronomers say might be really impressive is not gonna be that impressive. So there's still a chance that the comets they don't really talk about might be really impressive. You know what I'm saying? All right. Anyway, you know, still have a goal of laying in a field with a pretty lady, watching a comet streak across the sky as we make out off and on to check out the comet. But I guess I should just write that shit in a movie. Because that way it fake comes true or whatever. I knew there was a reason I thought this would be interesting. Comet Lovejoy is a long period comet discovered on the 17th of August 2014, which means it's only like 100 days old in our eyes. Discovered 17th August 24th by Terry Lovejoy using a 0.2 meter using his 8 inches and a Schmidt Cassie Grain telescope. It was discovered at an apparent magnitude of 15 in the southern constellation of Puppis. Poopis. Poop. Pup is. It is the fifth comet discovered by Terry Lovejoy. Congratulations, Mr. LJ, check this out. By January 2015, it will brighten to roughly an apparent magnitude of 7 or 8, making it small telescope and binoculars target for experienced observers. On the 7th of January 2015, the comet will pass 0.469 AU. The comet will be 469 AU from Earth. It crosses the celestial equator boring. The comet will come close to perihelion, on the 30th of January 2015 at a distance of 1.29 AUs from the Sun. Before entering the planetary region, C2014 Q2 had an orbital period of about 11,500 years. After leaving the planetary region, it will have an orbital period of about 8,000 years. Okay, so 
What's neat about this comet is it's fresh. We don't know a lot about it. And it reached the eighth magnitude about five weeks earlier than I thought it would. So that's cool, man. All I'm saying is let's keep our eyes on this. Or don't, because comets are totally disappointing. They're a lot like my crushes. For all the energy, time, thought I put into them, I get very little in return. That's okay, though, man. I'm all good. And I'm always like, hey, guys, why don't you take your big fancy camera and point it at this spot right here and tell me what's there. Anything? What knocked it into its orbit? What got it hot, shall we say? That's an impressive orbit. Very Sedna-like. We're big fans sitting here at Thornhaze. Looks like it's going to be below us until about the middle of January. So if it's big or it's very active, we might have our first real comedy comet in a long, long time. Don't get your hopes up, though. Trust me, comets are like... turds. Cat, dragon, snowball cats. I don't even know anymore. That sure as hell didn't sound like fireworks. I hope nobody got killed. Dallas is a lot different than the ranch, that's for sure. Holy shit, how many shots fired was that? Oh my god. I can't. That's a Thor News first. Never had rapid gunfire during my show. Hopefully it's the last. Why would you even need to fire that many bullets? Oh man. No danger of hitting Earth. No doom. See, all the doom is on Earth, man. That's why I have fun playing with pretend doom. Because I know all the real doom is on Earth. Please forgive me if my funny is a little off. I'm still a little discombobulated. Watching America go to war with itself, the time we've chosen to go to war with so many other people, is very disheartening. God bless everyone. Please? What are they looking for?